Hello and welcome back to Here We Tow. Today I'm at Cara Motorhomes and Caravans and they've kindly allowed us to come and film. So today I'm going to be reviewing this. It's the 2021 Adria Adora Sava. Now this is a family layout caravan on a twin axle. It's available in either five or six berths and I'll explain a bit more about that when we go inside. New for 2021, we've got a completely new front and rear and new furnishings inside. I'm particularly excited about the new Adora and I do like the look of it. So what do we need to know about the Sava? Well, it's an eight foot wide caravan and this one in total length is 8.24 metres long. So it is long, it's on the Alco chassis and we have got the longer A-frame. We've got a 100 kilo nose weight maximum and this caravan has an MTPLM of 1,900 kilograms. It has a payload of 178 kilos, so very generous. You can upplate the Sava to two tonnes, which is going to give you a payload of 278 kilograms, which is massive. So let's get cracking with a look around. As I say, for 2021, we've got a completely new front. It's been made so it's a lot more aerodynamic. So despite its weight, it should tow extremely well. We've got these new wind diffusers here. We've got the large three windows and the huge panoramic sunroof. The front locker is a huge one piece. And under here, you're going to find the spare wheel and room for two 11 kilogram gas bottles. I do like the new silver front. For me, it's a massive improvement. We'll make our way down the near side. Now on the near side, we don't see huge changes. We have still got the silver sides and we've got new decals for 2021. We've gone blue as opposed to the green that we've seen in previous years. We do still have our gas point for barbecuing and we still have our battery box here. Coming down further on the near side, we're obviously going to find the habitation door. That's still a two-piece door and we do have the window up above. There is a blind and fly screens in here. Above the door, we're going to find the awning light. It's an LED light, so on an evening you can illuminate either the awning or the outside space when returning to the caravan. We've got, as I say, a twin axle. These are alloy wheels, 14 inch. What I do like to see on this model is we are getting Alco shock absorbers as well. Further down as we go, as you can see, we've got two windows here. And this is where we're going to find the bunk beds on this family model. And underneath, we've got a huge locker so we can access storage under the lower bunk. So plenty of storage for tables and chairs and what have you. We come round next to the rear of the Sava. Now, what I do like for 2021 is we've got the new tail lights, and this is also a feature we're going to find on the motorhomes of the Adria. So coming round, the grab handles are completely different. They're now here on the sides. We've got a new Adria badge, and we've got the new Sava decal there as well. And these are the new LEDs that I've mentioned. I, I do really like these, so a complete change on the back end. And what we find as well is we have got uh, lights up here and then we've got reflectors lower down. So that's the rear end of the Sava. It's, it, for me, again, I really like the changes. It's a large back end with it being eight feet wide. We'll go around now and have a closer look at the offside of the Sava. So I'll see you around on the offside. So here we're going to find a frosted window that's into the rear bathroom. We have got our external flush filler. and We've also got the toilet cassette. We've got another window here, which is going to look into the bedroom. And then we've got our vents. So we're going to find the tower fridge and freezer vents also here on the offside. So it's not going to impact on the near side when you've got your awning up. Obviously we've got the wheels on this side as well. We've then got the kitchen window, which is going to let nice light in there for the kitchen. And last but not least, we find we've got a lounge window. We've got another box, battery box here. 
and then we've got our Truma water pump. So this is where we're going to obviously put our aqua roll and feed water into the caravan. So that's the exterior of the Sava. It's a very good sized caravan. If you're wondering about warranty, the Sava comes with a 10 year water ingress warranty, which is standard across all Adrias and habitation, you're going to get two years. However, Cara do actually do their own five year warranty. So you're going to get an additional three years if you buy from Cara, which for me is a really good selling point. So let's venture inside and see more of this family layout. I'll see you inside. So inside the Sava, we start in the lounge. Obviously, as I say, it's an eight foot wide caravan and you really do feel the benefit here in the lounge area. We've got this wraparound sofa area, really nice, thick, deep sofa seats, cushions. We've got these new style uh, cushions in the Adora range and they hold together by magnets and you can do different things with these depending on how you want to use them. They've got a purple interior and a grey exterior, so nice bolster cushions there. The grey is complemented um, with this almost very pale purple and silver curtain that we see and we do get blinds and fly screens all around. Standard across the Adrias, we don't see the front chest and drawers but we do get the small flap and it has changed for this year. It's now a nice grey colour. It's like a sort of Corian effect as opposed to the white that we've had in previous years. Up front, up here, we do have a plug socket and then we've got USBs and we've got lights under these lockers above us. What I do still like about the Adora are the big three windows. This, these let in so much light and give such a fantastic view out. And then above, there's the huge sunroof. Again, excellent for letting in the light. In the lounge area, this is going to convert into one huge bed. And I believe it's going to be six foot two across. You pull slats out from underneath on each side and then use the back cushions to convert into that large double bed. So this is where we're going to find two of our berths. So that really summarizes this lounge area. I'll just stand up and show you some of the storage as well, because storage is important, especially if you're a family. And with that large payload, especially if you up plate, it gives you plenty of opportunity to carry more things for the children, such as games. So we've got great lockers up here. You've got full depth. And then these are also um, the same on the other side, on the near side of the caravan as well. So as you can see, we've got some excellent storage um, for all those bits that the family have. So that's this lounge area. What I'm going to do now is turn around and head into the kitchen of the Sava. So I'll see you in the kitchen. So in the kitchen of the Sava, one thing you're probably going to notice, which is different from previous years, is we have a transition from the wood of the lounge area to the matte white in the kitchen. And Adria have done that to separate these spaces. So we start up above with our storage. And as I say, we've got matte white cupboards for 2021. Now in here, we're going to find our microwave and a little bit of storage next to it. And next to that, we're then going to find another cupboard. And that's probably where I'd be putting my crockery and glasses and what have you. So that's the storage above in the kitchen. And nice to see a microwave, obviously. Just under here, we're going to find a plug socket, which is ideal, obviously, for the kettle toaster coffee machine. And just next to it, we're going to find the controller for the Adria media system as well, so you can listen to music here in the caravan. Worktop space. I'm a little bit disappointed that we don't see the flap on the end here that many Adria owners have asked for. So we are still looking at this amount of worktop space. Again, we've got the same Corian effect that we've seen on the small flip table in the lounge area. I like this. This for me is a big improvement on the white that we had previously. We then have the Dometic 3 gas burner hob. Um, no electric, which is standard on the Adrias, but three gas burners, uh, more than ample for what we're going to need. 
and then we get the sink. This does come with a cover which also acts as a chopping board as well, but a good sized sink. Underneath this, first of all, we get the pull out rack. Now, this has grown in size for 2021, which I'm pleased about again. This is a useful space for tins and things like that. So it's good to see that we have got uh, a little bit wider for 2021. Moving along, we've got the Thetford grill and oven. So it's at a good height. I'm not sure whether it's a little bit lower this time uh, for 2021, but as we can see, that's going to be great for you if you do like cooking in the caravan. Not something I'm known for, but uh, we'll move swiftly on. Under the sink, we're going to find the drawers. So we've got a nice pull out drawer here. This will be where we put our cutlery. There'll be a cutlery tray for that one. And they are soft clothes, which is a lovely feature. And then we've got another drawer, again, for various bits and pieces. And we've got the third one down there as well. Last but not least, we find the Thetford Tower Fridge Freezer, and I'm always pleased to see this. Um, as far as I know, it's 140 to 142 litres. Um, we get an excellent freezer compartment and then absolutely loads of space. So if you are a family of five or six, you're going to get all the food you need for a week in this fridge. Um, we have the pull out salad tray and then there's a larger tray at the bottom for putting milk and juice and things like that. And then we've got the, um, the trays there on the door. So that's excellent for a family. If you're wondering what these rails are, these are new for 2021 and I'm not entirely convinced about them myself as yet. You do get some baskets, um, fabric baskets that you can hook on and then put items and utensils in them. Things maybe like your coffee jar and, and tea bags and things. As I say, I'm yet to be convinced, but I haven't actually used them. So that's what they are in case you were wondering. So that's the kitchen area. I do like the kitchen for 2021 for me. That's definitely an improvement. What I'll do now is I'm going to move over to the near side and show you the storage features here. So as we come in through the door, we're going to find a bin situated within the door, which is always something that I do like to see. As I mentioned when I was outside, we've got the blind for this window. And above the door, we're going to find the control panel for the Alderwet central heating because the Adora range comes with the Alderwet central heating and with the pink fluid, which just requires a change every five years. The Alderwet central heating system is fantastic, especially in winter. As we come along, now there's not many changes here. Um, we still see the ledge and we've got our sockets here for the television, for plugging in, the aerial, and we've got some USBs as well. There's the television bracket already for us here. And there's a little LED light just above as well, which is a nice little feature. I am pleased to see that this cupboard for 2021 has grown in size. This is where you're going to store your table for when you're eating as a family in the lounge. Previously, this was almost half the size and it was quite difficult to get in there to, to, to bring the table in and out. So I'm definitely pleased that we've got an increase in size there. Now clothing, if you're a family of four, five or six, you're probably going to have quite a lot of clothing. And this is where we're going to find storage for clothes and it is fantastic. So I'll open this part of the wardrobe first. We find a rail, because obviously this is the wardrobe space, but then there's also a shelf unit below as well. So you can put items on there. The Alder uh, boiler is in here and the television aerial is going to come through as well, but it doesn't impact on the amount of space you've got there. Underneath, we don't have a particular amount of storage because this is boxed off, but we probably could get some shoes in there, I would imagine. So that's a little bit of storage there. Next to it, now this is fantastic. I'll open this up. Now in here, we're going to find our shelving. So we've got a total of two shelves and the base of the cupboard. So this is where we're going to be able to put plenty of clothes. And underneath, 
we're also going to find the same two shelves and the bottom of the cupboard so you're going to get all your family's clothes in there and that's a feature that I've always liked on the Adoras the amount of storage so there we go that's sort of the central area of the caravan we'll move back next and have a look at the bedroom and the other berths that we're going to find back here as well as a dianette so I'll start on the near side still with the bunks. Now, if you're wondering about privacy, we do have a pull-out privacy screen here, as you can see, and that's going to come across and affix on here for on an evening. Now, bunk beds. You're going to find two bunk beds. These are six feet and five inches in length, so they're going to be ample size for even the tallest child. And they're a couple of feet in width. You do get a ladder, which we can see here, and that will affix here so you can climb up there. Knowing children though, they probably won't even want to use the ladder. They'll probably just jump off there and onto here. But there, there is the ladder there. The maximum weight that this will take is 70 kilograms, which I think that might be about 11 stone. I'm not entirely sure. So it should be uh, more than sufficient for most children. We do have a window there as well to let some light in. And if you're worried about younger children, it might be worth looking at a window lock as well. Just up there, we've got a small light with switch. So the person in that bed can turn the light on if they're wanting to read or use gadgets in bed. The bunk underneath. Again, same length. As far as I know, this does not have a weight limit on it because this is actually on more of a solid base. And we're going to find our storage under here. What I really like to see though, and I'm sure children will be pleased with this, is just on the wall there, as well as light switches, there's two USBs as well. So if the kids are in bed, they can plug the gadgets in and play them all night and you'll hopefully have a quiet evening as well. So excellent features there for children. On the opposite side, so this is now the off side of the Sava, you'll see there's a dianette. Now, if you have got six, this is going to be a great space for that extra additional eating or having lunch and snacks. The table does move, it does come away and fold down. And this dianette will convert into a further single bed. So if you were to use the lounge as a, a double, these two as bunks, and then this as a single, that's going to give you five of the six berths. And as I say, a very nice usable space. Above it, if you opt for the five berth, what you're going to find are these two storage cupboards. You may have noticed we've gone back to the wood grain effect as well that we saw in the lounge. And that's again an, a choice by Adria to separate these areas. As you can see, there's absolutely loads of storage. We've got a full depth and height. If you want this caravan in a six berth, Adria have designed a new bunk bed and that's actually going to be within this cupboard. So instead of having a cupboard space, this would open up and you'll actually have a drop down bunk bed. I don't know how it will work because I haven't seen it. It's a prototype, but it, I would imagine it, it will come out somewhere at this height possibly. And then you'd use the ladder to climb up into that space. So if you're wondering uh, where the sixth berth is, it would be here as a fold down bunk bed. And I don't know the weight limit on that either. Lengthwise, I would imagine that's probably going to be six foot two as well, judging by the length of these. Under here as well, we're going to find just in this corner, lighting and sockets and charging points. So it certainly is a really well thought out design. What I'm going to do next is last but not least, I'm going to head through this door and we can have a quick look at the rear washroom and shower. So I'll see you back here in the bathroom. So first of all, on the near side corner of the washroom, we're going to find the shower. There's a mirror in there, there's some shelves. And one thing I do like is the Alder radiator. So the shower cubicle is very warm indeed. So that's the shower. It's a good size and it'll certainly be suitable for all members of the family. On the offside corner, we're going to find the frosted window, a mirror. We've got a nice towel rail 
And then we've got the Thetford swivel toilet. We've also got the toilet roll holder as well. And then in the centre of the washroom, we find this nice sink, a good size mirror. There's some nice LEDs above and there's also the main bathroom light above here. And we've got storage down the side. We've got a slide out rack, which is a nice feature. Be able to put various bits on there. And this also opens up as well to give you a small cupboard space above. Under the sink, we find two cupboards. And there's plenty of room in there for all the family's toiletries and toilet rolls and maybe even storing some hand towels. So that's the bathroom again, a good little space. So what we'll do is we'll head up into the lounge and we'll just have a summary of the Sava. So I'll see you back up there. So there we have it, the Adria Adora Sava for 2021. There's been some excellent improvements that I can see. Price wise, how much is this caravan? It's £27,000, which I think when you put it against its competitors, that's excellent value for money. You are getting the wet central heating, the eight feet wide, and we're getting the Adria build quality and all the new charging points, the new lights, the new designs, absolutely excellent. I've really enjoyed reviewing this caravan. I think that's maybe uh, been quite obvious. So there we go. That is the Adora Sava for 2021. I'd just like to say thank you to Car Remote Homes and Caravans for letting us film today in a sterile environment. It's very much appreciated. So as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.